Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Generals of Light. My name is Mary. Hope you guys are doing well. So, um, apologies about my voice. It's very husky and raspy because I have been out protesting. So, for some of you who may not know about what's going on in Nigeria, people have been protesting against the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, also known as SARS. SARS is an arm of the police that was put in place by the government to help reduce armed robbery and crime in Nigeria. However, they have not been doing their job properly. So, for years, they have been attacking they've been harassing they have been raping they've been torturing innocent young innocent nigerians people who perhaps look like criminals and this is the problem so on the 8th of october people have been protesting to end sars because there's no actually clear-cut procedure of how to find real robbers and criminals they have been profiling people that somewhat look modern and so nigerians have had enough and they're demanding for justice not just for sars to be reformed and put under another name but to be completely dissolved and have the workers put out of service these protests go beyond um, the NSARS movement. It also includes um, ending police brutality, ending bad governance, ending corruption in Nigeria. The tr I really believe that if we deal with the root, the leaves will be green. And truly, intercession has been going over Nigeria for years. There's been many prophecies concerning a revival happening in Nigeria, that, that Nigeria will be known for righteousness. And I believe that this is just the sparks of the flame that will soon take place like a wildfire. So um, I myself have participated in some protests, but I mean, this video, I'm just gonna show you a vlog of a prayer walk that I went on and um, it was powerful. It was the Leki Ikoyu and Link Bridge prayer walk. And honestly, it's amazing to see Nigerians coming together for one cause. Today I, I feel so blessed, I feel so great for young people to come together from different denominations, from different places. This was not the time to argue about doctrines. This was not the time to argue about who's right and who's wrong. Everybody lifted up their voices in one accord. This is what happened in Acts chapter 2, it happened in Acts chapter 4, and the power of God came strong. And I know something has been birthed because this is the rise of a new nation. Happy about what's happening right now. And from where I stand as a Christian, you know when I was praying this morning, all I kept on hearing is that we will eat the good of the land because there's good in the land and we're going to be alive to eat it. And I thank you for what we've done here today. And one of the things I want to say is that we should actually not go back on our world. We should not join the world. I know we're all protesting together, but as Christians, we have the um, spirit of God living in us. So the words that the spirit gives us, what we should proclaim at all times. And then we're tempted. Just as God, please help me quench this holy anger. <laughs>
Hi people, my name is Musa. I'm a singer, songwriter, music producer. And these are very interesting times. You know, it's like the scale just suddenly fell off our eyes and people are asking for more. There are people are waking up to awaken this, awaken this sleeping giant. The future is here. It's you and I, we will arise. So this is a moment where everyone has woken up and we are going to take back, you know, Nigeria never really got going. Nigeria never really got going. We never recovered from the coups and all of that. We never settled. But now this is the time we are settling. The rain has come on us. The rain of revival. We are awake. We are, and it will no longer be a rubble. It will be a, 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 a place where people want to come. It will be a place where people are, are running to come and, and learn righteousness and learn the ways of God and learn, you know, how to run a nation. Any struggles that has held Nigeria down, we say our time is now. We are food. We are food. We are food. I'm just so grateful that we're all here, you know, praying there's no so called leader, so called, but just here in the nation. Um, to thank the Lord and to pray and to declare and we believe that when we decree a thing Come it on. will be established yes, onto yes, us yes, yes. that we have loosing and binding power in the name of Jesus we pray. And I want to say this is God. We have come to that point where God has said to move in our land. And it's going to happen. There's a mighty revelation of the glory of God upon our nation. And it's going to happen. It's that season. And I want to say this. We, are, we didn't come to take part. No. We are not sharing this spoil with the enemy. We came to take over. We are taking over this land for Jesus. All glory to God. I'm a protester. But I also understand that for things to be birthed in the physical, there needs to be work in the spiritual. So I, I, I mean, it started in the mainland with Limo, Limo and Imisi started. And I said, we need to do this in Lekki. And um, here we are. Here we are. The support has been amazing. And I pray that we will keep up the temple because the truth of the matter is God first. God first. When God is in the space, when God is in the community, when God is in the nation, it's unimaginable. It's unfathomable what He works with the people in that nation and in that country, Karenu, to birth for the nation. So this is a new Nigeria. This is a new Nigeria that we're in. And I pray, and I pray that people will begin to come out with strategies with templates, with processes that would turn this country around because it's not just about prayer. We need to go out and we need to do, which is the path for me. We are here, we are afraid, we have encouraged each other to go out and be better citizens. So that means that certain things that we used to do before, we're going to stop doing it one way. No My prayer for Nigeria is that we never relent and we never give up. That we hold on to every promise that God has given us and that we walk towards it and let it make sure that it manifests in this generation because this is a special time it's a glorious time and we should be honored that god has chosen our generation to do this miracle so um we finished the prayer walk god has been awesome like it was so wonderful to see so many people from different denominations all coming together for one cause and that is for the bettering of nigeria and i know that indeed god is doing a mighty thing in this nation and the truth is everybody has their part to play and it's so important for us to align in this season you know god will indeed give us strategies he'll give us ideas on how to better our country how to better our nation and so um i'm about to head up very soon look at my friend oh yeah take it come come and say hello <laughs> So we finished walking and um, everyone just eating and chilling for now. But uh, uh, my feet is hurting me. Hey, we really walked today. We walked. So yeah, we are taking over Nigeria for Jesus. And um, yeah, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's something different. And um, God bless you.
speak to the Nigerians that are out in the diaspora. Perhaps you're feeling a bubbling or a stirring in your spirit to come and visit Nigeria. Maybe it's the nation calling you back to come and take your place, to come and impact and bring about the positive change needed to progress Nigeria. Truly, Nigeria was known as a sleeping giant, but she's now woken up and she's not going back to bed. After 60 years, she has found her voice and gained her independence.